Hey there, Mr. Itso here to show you how to get yourself registered with this new website your teacher wants you to use called Gizmos. Now, if you're scratching your head and asking, who is this funny looking guy? Or if you've forgotten who I am, my name is Mr. Itso. I teach grade eight at Oscar Peterson Public School. I hope you're keeping well at home in self isolation. As you can tell, I've been trapped in my house for months and I haven't had a haircut in forever. So, but anyway, we're not here to talk about how amazing my hair looks. We're here to get you set up on a new learning website. I want you to go into Google Chrome and I want you to type in www.explorelearning. Probably already give you a link, so you could um, also click that as well to get to Gizmos. On the website, you're going to see this button at the top right hand corner says login slash enroll i want you to click that and enter the class code here that your teacher gave you now i'm going to use my class code for my class but i want you just to show you but i do want you to stick to the code that your teacher provided you're going to click enroll in class it's going to take you to this screen here it says i already have an account or I need to create an account and you need to create an account because you don't have one already. So click the second one. Here, it should say you're creating an account to enroll in and then it should say your teacher's name here or your grade. You're gonna enter your first name. Let's say your first name, Bob, Billy Bob. Let's call you Billy Bob. And your last name is Jones, but we're going to just put J. We're not going to put your full last name because we don't need it to know your last name. So we're just going to say Billy Bob J. You're going to skip the line for email address. And when it comes to the username here, what I want you to do is I want you to enter your student number. This is that long three, four, whatever number that you usually use to log into a computer at school. So just pretend like you're logging into the computers at school, okay? Put your number and your password as if you were logging into a computer at school. Just in case you make a mistake, it's going to ask you to put your password a second time. And voila, you're in. Now on my screen right now, what you're looking at is my grade eight class activities. You don't, um, you're going to have different activities. They're not going to look like this one, but let's just pretend for a second your teacher assigned one that looks like this. When you click the launch button, it's going to bring you to an activity. Okay. You can look at um, an exploration sheet, which is like usually an activity to work on in a worksheet. There's a vocabulary sheet here, so you can practice your math vocabulary or your science vocabulary. And you can click the full screen button so that you can see things better. And every activity is different. I can't show you every single activity, but all the activities will have different um, things inside them, experiments or simulations. And it's up to you to sort of click the buttons and try and figure out what to do. Sometimes there are um, help buttons here that can be helpful. And sometimes there are uh, videos to help you as well. And down below, there's always questions on solving the math or the science. There's usually five multiple choice questions to solve as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me or your teacher. Um, check with your teacher first and um, have fun with the activities. Thanks for watching this video.